Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to use SMS to connect to your favorite web services instead of mobile data. Now this is actually a really interesting app. A group of Duke University students got together and came up with a way to transmit data from common services over SMS. This means that if you're in an area with poor data reception, or if you have unlimited text messages but a minimal bucket of mobile data, you can still get the information you need. The app is called SM Smart, which is all one word, and it's available on the Google Play Store for free. So search it by name to get it installed, then we'll see what it's all about. Now when you first launch the app, you'll have to provide a valid email address to join the beta program. There are also check boxes, which are already selected, that signify you agree to their terms and conditions and verify that you're aware that this app will send and receive SMS messages. But when you've entered your email address, tap OK, then you'll be informed that sign up was successful. From here, tap OK again, then SM Smart will send a group of confirmation text messages. These come from the various numbers that SM Smart uses to transmit data. So as the app says, you'll probably want to blacklist these numbers so that you're not bombarded by texts while you're using the app. That process will vary depending on what SMS app you're using, but for the most part you just select the messages that it just sent, then hit snooze, turn off notifications, or something to that extent. But after you've cleared that hurdle, tap OK one last time, then you'll be ready to use the app. It's got an easy to use interface that gives you quick access to common services that aren't too heavy on data. You can perform a Google search, look for an address on Maps, search Wikipedia, and quite a few more. When you select one of these options, it functions as you would expect. For instance, when I search something, I get all the top Google search results. These aren't clickable though, because some of these web pages would be too large to transmit over SMS. But in the end, it's an incredibly innovative app that could be of great help when you're stuck without a mobile data connection. For the full breakdown though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.